Guys, tonight's all about our offensive style of play. Now, we, I want to emphasise style, not system. Uh, in the past, we have been far too system focused, and this is exactly how you do it. We want to provide more of a framework you guys can then go and use, and some rules that we want to have, kind of, or concepts we want to have program wide. And it's then kind of up to you guys how you do it. So it allows for coaches' expression and your coaching flair to be thrown in there, not just you know flow with back up, hand off every time. And we want the kids to be assertive with that stuff. A uh, few things, style. So, and this will transfer into our defensive stuff next Wednesday as well. Like it's, it's non-stop, no rest, relentless. Those things will allow us to own the full court, maximise our school, our skill, but also minimise our lack of size. Minimise opposition's lack of size as well. So just that flat out attack sort of mentality. Uh, objectives. One's creating double gaps. And we'll go through that a little bit within the session. Um, but just continue to think, create double gaps. And that's kind of where your coaching flair can come into it a bit. No objectives, dribble, pass and cut penetration. So there's three ways you get the penetration. Dribble, which we're all aware of. Cut, which we did a lot of at our, our trials. There's also pass, which is generally through post, post plays. We do want to play through the post, but not necessarily park somebody in the post the whole time. A uh, few rules slash concepts, spacing. Both sides drifting diagonal, so corner and wings, those are the spots we want to consistently get people to on both sides. We'll never hold three people on the same side of the floor. And again, we'll go through all this as the session goes on, just trying to put some of it out there to start with. We're patient, but we then sprint to receive. So I don't want people just standing. If I'm holding this diagonal receiver spot, I'm not just standing here waiting for the ball. We do have to be moving. Again, we'll, you'll see that through the session. It'll look like it's five out, but I want you thinking of it as being four out, one in. If not, three out, two in. The people inside the three-point line, though, are dribble penetrating or cut penetrating. It's not, again, it's not people just standing in the post being bigs and getting in the way. We want to have versatile players. Uh, the post feeds will come out of some cuts and screening actions, not so much, again, just running to the post and standing there. So tonight we are going to try to go keep it broad so it can be implemented at under 12s all the way through to under, well, under 20 slash seniors. But I want you to continue to think at style, not necessarily systems. You may have, you may love, for example, a, a stagger screen. By all means, you can go use that if it kind of fits in with the style we're trying to play. Again, non-stop, no rest, flat out attack. Final thing I'll leave you with, and this is for you guys as well. If you're decisive, you can't be wrong. Right, so if the athletes on the floor are decisive, they pass and they cut, or they catch and they're attacking straight away, or catch and shoot straight away, Encourage that. If they're decisive, they can't be wrong. Because everyone else can then react around them. If I'm stuttering, next person in line stuttering, and now everyone's stuttering and we're achieving nothing. Guys, I'm trusting that you're warm because you've been here for a bit already. Yes? Good answer. All right. To start with, we're going to go some 3v0 stuff. I hope too much of this doesn't cross over into what Joe may have planned for next week. If it does, he has time to change it but I'll try to keep as much of it to the offensive style more so than any decision making. Can we please get uh, a line on this sideline with basketballs? And we'll get people starting edge of key outside the three and on the wing with our basketballs. Uh, again, this is similar to what we did at trials. At trials, we're going to build it up. We're clearly not going to get to five on five, but you'll get the understanding. We spoke at the start about not holding our positions, but sprinting to receiver spots. Billy, I'm going to get you to start back, and this is where Jared's footwork ties in. Because Billy's going to spin it out, catch in the air, land on two, so skip catch, and attack straight away. He can go either way on this. As he's attacking, you two are then sprinting to drift and diagonal. We want Billy to get two feet in the charge arc. That scores mentality. We're trying to get to the ring. Now... When you kick it out, kick it out, turn and sprint to fill a receiver spot on that side. We're not going extra pass for a catching shot to start because, for example, on the 12s, that's not realistic. 
and you guys are still warming up. So on that, you're going to back up straight away, feed the cutter, lay up. That's all we're going through right now. And right, we can get the next line in, the next lot ready to go. So once you've done that, Billy can probably rotate to this side. You guys can work out your rotation that side, keep going. Cool that, show us full pace that. Spin it out, good. Kick, cut, feed, lay up. We should have the next three ready to go. Let's get the next three ready to go, straight away. Turn and sprint, feed, lay up. Next three ready to go. So again, this will be used the warm up drill, but it does lay a foundation part of our style. Good, next three ready to go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's go back. Let's just get some clarity around who's in. Use your voices. Let's have someone edge a key three point line. Edge a key three and wings. When Steve starts to drive, you sprint to receive a spot. Let's go. Extra pass to a cutter. Good. Next one's go. Next one's go. Straight away. Alright, hold it there. Um, one thing I think is really important to continuously preach with this sort of stuff is, I don't know if you all noticed, but every pass went to the corner on that. The more and more we play this game, the more and more people just keep taking away that corner pass. We need to be able to pass the wing as well. Uh, encourage that with your teams. This time when you drive, you are going to pass to the wing, and on the extra pass to the corner, we're going to cut, and again, feed the cutter. Can you guys show us that full pace? So kick out, turn the sprint, extra pass and cut, feed the cutter. Good, so we can get the next one going. Get the next one going, go. One thing we really do want to preach this year is we pass, we cut, we pass, we screen. We don't want to stand still. Turn and sprint, don't back pedal, turn and sprint. Next one, go, next one, go. And cut, good. All right, hold there. This time, spin it out, catch in lamb two, so skip to catch as we did on Wednesday, for the coaches as we did on Wednesday. You can kick it out to either player. Here's your challenge though. If Mario kicks it out to the corner, you have to kick to the wing on the next possession, just so we keep varying that up. Extra pass is a catch and shoot now. Now, if you guys don't feel as though your eyes in to shoot the three, or if the under 12s aren't shooting the three, by all means take a one or two dribble pull up, but the shot has to be a jump shot. When you throw the extra pass, you are cutting all the way through. Let's get to that part. So spin it out, good footwork, attack, good. Now, when Amari turns and sprints, we don't back, but as soon as Billy releases, we want to build the habit of pass and cut, so Billy's going to pass and cut, good, it shifts you up. Just to the diagonal is fine, just on the wing's fine. You can catch and shoot the three, or take one or two dribbles for a jump shot, that's up to you. But let's get that full pace. Okay, we don't want the athletes getting to a position where they feel comfortable standing and watching. They pass, they're cutting, they pass, they're screening. Good, extra pass and cut. Good, that's fine. Rebound, next three go. Remember to change who you pass through this time. Next one, go. Extra pass cut, extra pass cut. Extra pass cut. Good, next one's go, next one's go. Good, all right, hold it there. Um, we're now gonna start this a different way. We're gonna let you guys make reads on it, but the defense is gonna help dictate that a little bit. We'll explain as we get to it. So let's now get the ball starting in the middle here, and let's get two wings, or a wing on either side without a ball. Mario, start back so you can spin it out and catch. Let's get a defensive line starting down here, so edge of key. Let's go, let's go. 
So now you've got those reads to make, but we're going to start with a pass and cut to get the movement straight away. If you're open, what are we doing? Yeah, shooting. If you're not open, what are we doing? So, Yeah, tackling ring, but if you can't do that, make the extra pass. If you do make the extra pass, we want to cut. Now, for clarity, because I know this may get confusing later, for now, any extra pass you make on this side, we're cutting, whether it's from corner to wing or wing to corner. However, when we get to our, more of our five on zero stuff later, we're not going to cut if we pass out of the corner, just because it's going to get too crowded on this side. It's more about the mentality right now. So, Mario, if you make the pass, I want you to cut as hard as you can through the opposite corner, and Billy, you're driving straight away. Now, defense is stepping in, but you're defending the two perimeter guys. So Billy can make a pass to either player. Again, if you're open, you can shoot it. If you're not, make the pass. That doesn't have to be a catch and shot, and maybe on the cut. On the cut from the ball there. Cool, so if Tom decides to try to cheat us a little bit and take that pass away, by all means, you can cut. There's no right or wrong. If you decide, if you can't be wrong. Live with your decision and play with it. Show us that from the top. Play for now. That's fine. Let's get the next th next four ready. So we need to line on the baseline as well. Yep, spin it. Cut hard. Drive hard. Step in, Pat. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, let's just get the defense to start on the block. And as they're penetrating, start making the pass out of the decision as well. Sure. Once they break the key, you can start moving out. Uh, who's it? Oh, sorry. You're there. Sprint, Mario, sprint. That's fine. Next rep, let's go. Next rep, let's go. Straight away. Attack. Good job. Next one, let's go. All right, here's my challenge for you all. At the moment, the rate of us making the three isn't very high. And there's only one defender. So let's see if we can get some more cuts. Sorry, layups off of cuts on the weak side. Let's go. Sprint. Pass. That's fine. Let's go. Next one's up. Next one's up. Good. Sprint, sprint, sprint. That's fine, good decision. You're open, good look. All right, let's change this slightly. Start building some more gameness to it instead of just being a drill. Let's shift the defense just to the charge arc here. So now, Steve, you can pass either way. Not a whole lot of extra gameness to it, but it's not always the same side. So if Steve makes a pass to Tom instead, and again, Tommy wants you starting back so you can catch on the skip. Can we then start defending this side of the floor? All right, let's see if we can get more layups on this side of the floor instead of catch and shoot threes all the time. Let's go. Good, next rep, next one up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So Pat talks about that one. Will we open? Yeah, shoot the ball. Right, if we're open, we've got an occasion to shoot it. Outcome doesn't really matter. But if they're not going to shoot it, defense is going to keep not playing them and then it becomes too hard to get penetrating lanes. Let's go one more of this and we'll build it again. Sprint to cut. Hold up, hold up. Start again. Inside the charge arc to start now. Good, sprint on the cut. Nice, all right. Hold up. Okay, so this time we're going to build it to uh, 3v2. So let's go back to a wing start. Uh, Billy got the ball so you can start an offense. Pat is defense behind you. So you're going to start behind Billy. Offense is going to go back to how we started before. So edge of key behind the three and on the wing. The others, you guys can rotate through the top. We won't have this. Oh, sorry. No, we will. So you can start block. So Billy, spin it out. Skip, catch, and attack. And as he's doing that, you're following. Cool with that? Is he like right. trying to steal off 
Um, no, you're not trying to steal it off him. Your job is to get weak side to make their decisions tougher again. We don't want the weak side defender to actually come to the ball. Forget that for now. Your job is to make his kick out a tough decision. Your job is to take the next pass. You guys, if you're open, you can shoot it. If you're not, what are we doing? Drive, or we can make the pass. If you do make the extra pass, what are you going to do? Great. And we'll be then become 2v2 live. The initial offensive play, you're out of the picture, though. Show us a demo of that. Good. Great job. No one's guarding. Drive to the ring. Next rep ready. Next rep. Get if they're decisive, they can't be wrong. Don't discourage them if they're decisive. Play the game. Space and attack. Spacing, spacing. All right. Hold there. We haven't got to that stage yet, but that's an example of we do want the post-ups. So Mari's cut. He's got a small play on him. By all means, post him up. Pass penetration. It's an opportunity to get scores. Go, 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 go. Make the pass. Good. Hey, I know this isn't a defensive clinic or drill, but you guys need to communicate better so the offense has to work harder. Let's go. So Mario, once you make that pass, turn and sprint. Pat, if you make the extra pass, you cut, cut hard through. So flat out sprint. Let's go, one more. All right, let's now build this one more layer. Let's go O and D starting at the top. Defense can play them as per normal, so in front. O and D on both wings. Let's try to be color coordinated wherever we can be, so it's obvious who's playing on who. So defense is blue. So let's get you two out for now. You two in on D. For the sake of this and land the pass, let's get defense starting with their foot on the elbow on either side. Tom, you can pass to either wing. When you cut, it's a sprint. Whatever wing drives, if you guys can score, you score. Everything we're doing with this offense is trying to create advantages and maintain it. And the point of the advantage is so we can get an easy score. So if you pass to Steve and Steve has a layup, there's no point doing anything else. You've already got the easy score, right? On the kickouts, where do we go after we kick it out? Yep, opposite, turn and sprint, right? If you make the extra pass, what are we doing? Yep, sprint on the cut though. If you're open, score. If you're not, you can drive or make the extra pass. 3v3 live, do we get a score or a stop? Continue to play. Final thing, what are the spacings, what's the space we want to continue to get to? What, what are the four points? Yeah, behind the three, what are the four spots? Yep, both corners, both wings. If you get lost, get to an empty corner, empty wing. Let's show us, full pace. Pass, sprint, good. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Side again. Tack the basket. Tack the basket. Good. Turn and sprint. That's fine. Let's go. Next ones. Oh, actually, hold it there. Sorry, hold it there. Am I with the ball just where you were? See, I'm mindful of this being coach education. Not so much a training session, but I think there's teaching points in this too. If you're not open to catch it, what do you think you might do? Absolutely. And if you're decisive with that, Amari knows what's going on. If you don't get it, ball with Amari, what do you think you might do now? Yeah, keep going. Create the space. Now you've got space on both sides to kick it out to. Cool, if you're not open, cut. Let's go, start again. <laughs> Sprint. Good job. Easy game. Go again. Let's go swap it over and play. Let's get one of those whites to step out to come back in as blue. Because blue has three, white has five. Come on. Hurry right, up, guys. Billy, Billy, uh, sorry, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Billy start with the foot on the elbow. Just as a mini close out, it's a bit easy to create that advantage offensively. Let's go. Attack. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. 
What made that offensive possession really tough? What, yeah, what didn't we get? Yeah, feet in the paint. We didn't get penetration. No, that was a bit tougher, right? If we get penetration, it becomes a lot easier. Start again. Quick. Just before you go. So this again is where the footwork comes into play. If we have great footwork on the catch and attack the closeout with great decision making, as Jared spoke about on Wednesday, you know, I'm sure Joe uh, jo will speak about next week, it makes our ability to get that penetration a lot easier. We get the penetration, we have the advantage. We can't get the penetration, defense is winning. Let's show us again. Good job, great take. Well done, let's go, one more, one more. I'm not going to keep going this all night, but again, we're trying to promote that penetration, the movement, the spacing, and trying to give you guys the, the feel of the style. Remember, it's not a system, it's just that style. Do you have any questions? Feel free to sing out if you do have any questions at any stage. We'll try our best to answer them. We now go um, 4v0, so both guard spots. So I'll speak about guard spots, edge of key, behind the three, and both wings. So at level with edge of key. Now, so edge of key line comes straight up here. So guard spot, guard spot, and two wings. All right. We'll just go with the pass and space cut to start. So Billy, you make the pass and space cut all the way through, creating that space. Actually, let's get you coming back here real quick. I just want to touch on the double gap stuff we spoke about at the start. Right now in all these spots, we can see there's a gap on either side of Billy. Well, he has a gap to drive, but when you make a pass and cut, pass and cut, and hold that spot, because we've removed that purse, there's now a double gap here for Steve to drive into. It just gives him that extra space, or twice as much space to drive. That's what we're continuously trying to achieve all the way through. Great. Steve, on your penetration, so catch, catch on the skip and then attack the charge arc. For now, for now, what we're going to get is that whoever's in the middle on the weak side, being you, Campbell, you're going to cut as hard as you can, try and look to score. And if you don't get it, where do you think you might go? Great. So remember the start we spoke about one of the rules we want to play with is not ever having three people on the same side. Campbell's removed that by getting through. We only have two here now. Just shift around a little bit to be on the wing. See if you can pass to either person. Good. Extra pass. Now, from here on in, if we throw the extra pass out of the corner, you can hold. Let's say you drive. Two feet on the charge arc, kick out. And from here, I want you guys to make a decision on how you're going to score. So go back to what we did at the start, and maybe straight off a cut, maybe an extra pass and cut, maybe an extra pass or catch and shot. Don't know, whatever's open. Let's show us that from the top. So just to recap, we're getting pass and cut, first round of penetration. Kick out extra pass, second round of penetration, then we'll score. Show us that full pace. Cut out, good, good. Good turn and sprint. There we go, good. Great job. Let's go. Feel free to start in next round through. Hold up, hold up, hold up, go back, go back. Yeah, I know this becomes challenging, but the thing I've found both sides of the ball is far too often we stand and watch, or far too often we're waiting for something to happen. So let's be on the front foot, non-stop, be relentless. So as soon as you let go of that ball, we're non-stop, so what's next? Cut. As soon as you release, yeah, absolutely. Cut as hard as you can through. Now, if Tom drives again, what are we going to have? So we've got three people on the same side, which we don't want, so how are we going to fix that? The middle guy, no, he's going to cut it. The middle guy is going to cut as hard as he can through. When it's four on zero, not two phases where they cut. When we throw on the defense, cut to where you can score though. We want that to be a scoring opportunity. Kick out and find our score from there. So let's go back to the start. Let's go back to the start. 
Non-stop, there's no rest, we're relentless. We just keep moving, we keep attacking. Middle guy cuts, good, kick, extra. Middle guy cuts, middle guy cuts. Good. Great job, let's go. Next round. Middle guy cuts, there we go. Extra. Great job, middle guy cuts, middle guy cuts. That's all right, let's go, from the top. That's right, let's go, next four, next four. Turn and sprint. That's fine, finish it. All right, now, straight away, just hold it there. And we do have older athletes on the floor and some have experienced this before. So I can imagine what's going through some of the minds, particularly those who have under 12s, going, that's a lot for them to try to take in. We've got under 16 guys out here, a couple under 18s. And even for them, it's a lot to take in. We appreciate that. If we can just continue to get back to some of those rules of our floor spots or our spacing, two wings, two corners. If we pass, we cut. We don't want three people on the same side of the floor. It's gonna help us a lot. The other thing that's gonna help you guys a lot right now is communication what you're doing and what the next guy in line can do or you want them to do. So if we're all on the same page, we'll get scores. There's no defense, we shouldn't have any turnovers. Let's go one more round of this and we'll throw in, we'll throw in some defense, make it live. Let's go pass and cut, good. Middle guy cuts. Good. That's fine, that's fine. Let's go, one more rep. If you're decisive, you can't be wrong. So if you're gonna cut on that, live with it. Just go all the way through, and then Billy knows what's going on, the past knows what's going on, we're all on the same page. If you're decisive, you can't be wrong. You won't get in trouble if you do the, what you think's the wrong thing, if you just back your decision in. Can we get four people that are in the same colors? Let's go four blue on offense, three white on defense. Let's go nail with a foul line, low, yep, and ball. So ball can start with Steve. Uh, uh, take, take ball to start. Beauty of having less defenders and offensive players, it really encourages the off-ball movement. You should get an open look every time. You're going to start with a pass. Now I'm going to throw the challenge out. You can go pass and cut straight away, or you may reverse the ball through Pat, and Pat can make the pass the win cut. It's up to you guys. Becomes the same thing either way. Defense, your job is literally make it as tough as you can on offense. You should not win this if offense does a good job. Offense, you should not lose this if you do a good job. Oh, it's a great job on D if you do get a stop. We'll go two possessions for blue, then we'll swap it and go two possessions for white. Only rule on defense is you can't defend the ball twice in a row. So if Steve does make this pass, Billy cannot go to that. Next guy in line has to. Don't want to coach defense too much, but that's the only rule. Ball back to the top with Steve. Let's go. Good, keep it moving, keep it moving. Great job. Let's go, wipe, ah, uh, sorry, blue ball again. Two possessions, remember? Two possessions, blue ball again. Great job. White, your ball for two possessions. Four wide on offense, three blue on defense. Play. That's right, let's go again. Uh, 
That's fine. All right. Now let's just take this one more step and go 4v4 for this winner's will keep. Sure, walk inside an offense, you got the ball. It's 4v4. Hold up. So let's get aligned. Alright. So Billy again, you can pass to that wing. You may reverse the ball through Tom and he can make the pass to the wing. But if we pass down, let's make sure we cut through. If the corners pass up on an extra pass, you can't hold. Show us that. Let's go play. Keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. Good job. Winners keep. Let's go, white ball again. Good, blue ball from the top. Great cut, great cut, that's all right, good find, great cut, well done, let's go, white ball. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Bill, let's go back with you with the ball at the block. First things first, great job 1v1 defence, but what's made your life tougher after that? What can you see right now? No yeah, no space, you've got three defenders, let's bring you a step in here, Campbell. You've got three defenders plus yours inside the key because you've got three guys on one side of the floor. So if we get a Murray cutting on that straight away, and again, you guys can communicate to him on that all the way through. Now, if your defender decides to stay in the key because he's worried about the ball, you're wide open for a look. So if you make the pass to Murray, sprint to an empty spot, he's got a wide open look. All right, let's go white ball again. We don't, remember, we don't want three people on the same side of the floor because that allows defense to load up. Let's go. Extra cut, great job. That's all right. Okay, now we want to add. Um, so this really becomes, it's about teaching how we move. I appreciate you may come down the floor at times and you can't just get a dribble penetration straight away. We'll get to that a little bit afterwards. This next bit's probably not so applicable to the 12s or even some of the younger or less experienced under 14s. But as you may have noticed, when we've gone guard to guard pass, so Billy make that pass, we do have somebody that has stopped because this person's standing stationary. We want to be non-stop. All right, so when we go guard to guard pass, let's screen away. Now, if Pat's all the way down there, probably wouldn't worry about screening him too much, but you can at least exchange and Amara can come up. So now there's movement, you two are engaged, and it makes it a lot easier for you guys to penetrate from that side of the floor. So it's a screen away if the defender is wide, by all means screen, otherwise at least exchange, fill those spots, and we have movement from the get-go. We're non-stop. Go from the top. All right, start again, start again. Let's go. Good, from the top. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we spoke at the start. I spoke to the coach more about the start than the, uh, the athletes. We want to be patient and then sprint. What happened just then was all moving too eagerly. And we all got around the ball. So I say, uh, who had the ball when I said stop? Yep, see so here. Who was the top guy? Billy. So when you've come around, you've brought your defender closer to the ball. I just want to try to keep the defense away. Let's say, Tom, let's get you filling corner. Billy filling wide wing. What was your action? From the corner? Yeah, cool, let's argument say, right now, let's say you stayed in the corner. Yeah. Now there's a hell of a lot more space. If he picks it up, by all means, shorten that pass and it's an easier kick out. Or cut, gives Tom more space. But as soon as we start just running around the three-point line impatiently, a crowd's here space, 
we lose our opportunity to be creative and try to get penetration. Let's start again. Good, play it, play it, play it, play it. That's alright, that's a good look. It's good positioning. Let's go, next one. Cut hard. Good. Great job. Well done. Go again, Blue. Spacing, giving space. Alright, hold there. Who, who cut from the wing on that before Pat caught it? The last cut before Pat caught it? Was it you, Steve? So I don't know if we noticed, but Steve's cut on that, engaged the defence. Who was defending Pat? So that engaged Amari, wide open three. So cutting's not always about that person getting the ball. Cutting's not always about getting great space, and sometimes it's about getting somebody open. It forces defence to defend us. Let's go one more 4v4. And then we'll strip it back a little bit and build it up again. Blue Whose ball was it then? Blue, yeah, blue, that was pretty good. You can have another go. Space, 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 space. Let's grab one ball, it's already here. Leave that, leave that. Let's go one more good one with the ball in this court. Good, great job, all right. Hold there, guys, uh, just grab a real quick drink. You can be going for a bit, so I get competitive. Does anyone have any questions or comments or thoughts on any of that? Yeah, Sorry, Hack. Where cutters are cutting too, I think sometimes in that, they're cutting in the way of the person driving when they, like they go baseline, maybe go like or Yeah. We want the cars to be scoring cuts. If they don't get it, continue their speed through. And I think, again, if we're decisive on that, we won't be wrong. So if, if they kind of start their way through, they will get in the way. But if they just flat out and go, by the time they are in the way, I think just as quickly they get out of the way. I don't have a, an exact... Guys, hold the ball, please. I don't have an exact dance on that outside. Just make them be decisive. Just continue cutting through. Yep. Instead of you interchanging with him, go screen his man. On ball. Off the ball, the ball. Oh yeah, they can absolutely screen away. We're going to get into some of that stuff now. So if he went fast at his man and screened him, your, his man would go with him. Yep. Have a double screen there, he can come around for three. Yeah, we're going to go to some uh, concepts on some off ball screening and stuff now to add to it. Uh, I know, for example, Jared's a big fan of stagger screens, which is what you're speaking about. Um, that all works. Again, that's more system stuff, which you guys can go do. We're trying to get that style of spacing and attacking and non-stop, relentless sort of action. All right, uh, guys, we now want to go five out. So I'll start with point, two wings, and two corner sweeps, just offense. All right, so in terms of our spacing, um, so let's get right in the middle of the floor. Let's go true, true corners to start and true wings to start. In terms of our space, we spoke at the start about wings and corners being our receiver spots. Patient, but then sprint. And I don't think we touched on it, we don't want to fill the middle third. Because again, if we're looking at gaps right now, yeah, we have single gaps on either side, but Billy's defender's going to be in the way. So if he makes a pass to Pat and I'm defending Billy, I want to get to here, he's got no driving lane. All right. We, the fifth player is always going to be penetrating or cutting. Takes away that, filling that top spot. If we can continue to promote that with our athletes, it's going to help them a little bit too. Uh, to start on this, Billy going to go point to wing and cut. So pass to Pat, I want you to cut through all the way. Now from here, let's not make the extra pass for now. Let's keep you outside the middle third now you've got big old double gap to drive through here. Off you go. Okay, hold up. Yep, middle guy can cut. And if you don't get it, continue to cut through. So right now, this is where we get that four out, one in. 
pats in, you either four are out. The receiver spots we want as a rule of thumb are both wings and both corners, but don't be robots. Clearly if your defender is trying to take this space, well yeah, you can lift higher, you can lift higher, it's up to you guys. But let's build true wings and true corners for now. Extra pass, oh sorry, kick out. Where are you going to go if you kick it out? Yep, opposite, that's fine. Where don't we want to have anybody standing? In the middle third, right? So you can, you can get around as far as you want before you get in the middle third. If you extra pass, this is where we get really off balanced, but we can fix that, cut hard through. What's probably, what do you guys think, or coach can answer to, what's the biggest thing that's going to kill us right now? If Billy doesn't attack the basket, and we've got four guys on one side of the floor, we're in all sorts of trouble. So you need to start attacking. As soon as he starts attacking, how are we going to get our space? There's no right or wrong answers to this. Go, Tom. Yeah, let's try to fill this wing. You're closest guy, go fill that wing. What do you think we might do over here? Yeah, absolutely. Pat, cut. All the way through, all the way through. And again, we have our receiver spots filled. And the one person is a penetrator rather than someone just playing in their backside on the post. Can you guys go from the start? So ball back at the top. We're going to go pass and cut. This one's going to go pass and cut. We're going to get one round of penetration from here. Kick out. Extra pass, second round of penetration. Then find somebody to score. Cool? Show us that. Good. Excellent. Let's get three subs and let's have another crack. All the way around the Murray. All the way around the Murray. Good. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Again, we want this to be as, I guess, as athlete driven. And it's motion, like there's no right or wrong necessarily. So who caught the ball? You caught the ball in the middle spot? That's, that's, that's fine. You've, that's happened. Oh, we can't stop the game and go, ah, oh, I should have cut. Sorry, here's the ball defense. What can you do to help with this? Yeah, you can basket cut. Perhaps you just sprint around the outside. Don't know. But again, just get our spacing. Let's go one more. Drive hard. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to the start. Yep. Uh, point, two wings, two corners. Are we getting an understanding of what I mean by it's still four out, one in? It's not five out. Like we do have somebody inside the three point line, if not two people at all times. Yeah, correct. Or with somebody cutting. All right. I now want us to go, which is something that I'm sure the majority of the athletes will be comfortable with. We can't make the pass of the wing. You can't make the pass of the wing. Let's start with the dribble. All right, so let's go back cut, hand off to start, and it becomes the exact same stuff as the, the flow stuff we've been running for ages, which is more system than style. Good, if you get penetration, great. Steve made sure that there, was no, there wasn't three people on one side. Kick out, and now in the exact same stuff. Come back to the start. The thing that this wing cut creates is that double gap. So right now there's, there's a single gap between you guys, but as soon as Campbell cuts hard, there's a double gap. So we need to make sure you're patient, but then you sprint all the way through, mate, all the way through. That also gives you space to drive if defense just tries to defend the handoff. Well, we've got that double gap. Go play. Let's go from the top. Let's go the, uh, the back cut handoff. Penetrate and kick. Get an extra pass. And on that next round of penetration, let's look for a score. Got that? Awesome. Let's go. Good. 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 That's fine. That's fine.
Not bad. Let's go. Uh, make subs and let's go. Let's go to the other side this time. See if we can use the other side of our brains. Ooh. All right. When you're ready. Go, Kahad. All right. Let's think some problem solving right now. What don't we want opposite the ball? I'll get you guys to answer. Three people. Three people. And what are the receiver spots we want to continuously try to fill? Two wings, two corners. So if you keep thinking about those rules, it'll answer a lot of your questions. Or if you're unsure, it'll answer that for you. If there's three of you standing there, be decisive, cut. Be decisive, wrap around the top. Let's go from the top. Cut hard all the way through. Good, good, that's fine. Spacing. Bucket. All right, let's go. Let's get subs and go one more round. Good, good. Turn and sprint. Good job. Well done. All right. Let's go back to the starting point. Let's get uh, five blue. That's five blue. So we need one more in blue on offense for me, please. One more in blue. Good, Billy. Three wide are going to be on defense. And your job right now is pretty tough. The expectation is make it as tough as you can on offense. Don't defend the ball twice in a row, make their life tough. Offense, if you're open, shoot it. If you're not, attack or make the extra pass. I would suggest considering there's a numbers advantage, there's more pass and attack on if you're not open. Steve, you can start with a pass to the wing or if Amari's taking that away, you can go the dribble handoff or the back cut handoff to create that double gap and we play from there. Continuously think, we don't want three people on one side of the floor and the spots we want to continue to fill are the two wings and two corners. Where's the fifth player going to be? Boys. No. Yeah, inside the three point on the, on the bounce or on a cut. Show us. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Come back. This isn't picking on Steve. This is where it started to get to, I think, in the last few years. Pat's open, but for whatever reason, we still decide to dribble at him. If they're open, pass on the ball. So if Pat's open, he's passing the ball. That forces Amari to come defend. Billy's open for a three or a cut. We can play basketball. Uh, uh, the need for dribble handoffs if we can't make the pass. Let's go back to the start. Yep, let's go. Be decisive, be decisive, be decisive. Good. Not bad, let's go another rep. Okay, if you decide, if you can't be wrong. Unsure, sprint, back yourself, get to our spacing. Let's go. Ooh. Go again. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's go back to this. Let's go back to this. Quick. Let's force this look. Let's get you denying Billy so that he has to cut. Uh, if you're not open, cut. Whether it's receiving the ball like this or off penetrations. Let's get you cutting. Now, if we don't need to make a full handoff, let's say Amari follows him a little bit, that may just be one pass, uh, one bounce and pass. It doesn't have to be a dribble handoff unless you can't pass the ball. All right, Billy, come back. Amari, feel free to mess with him on that. You may then deny the next pass as well. You may sag off a bit. Make them play. Let's go. Good, good, play it, play it, play it. Penetration, pass cut. Good, ooh. Good look, good look, good cut, good look. Let's go one more blue, and then we'll give uh, the three lucky guys on defense a go. That's fine, that's fine.
All right, good job. That's better looks we should be getting. There's only three defenders. You two go white, please. You three lucky boys, you're on defense. Let's go. So, let's go, next rep. Sorry, 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 before you go. Particularly early on, and it may be a whole, hopefully a whole season, but I'm a big chunk of the season. It's going to look really messy. Like that last possession there was fairly messy, but we end up getting a good shot out of it. Live with the mess. Don't try to release a little bit of the control and let the athletes go play. Just keep getting back to those, those simple rules of spacing, Pass and cut. Where do we want to get to? Don't fill three people on one side of the floor. Just live with the mess. Just keep trying to go back to those rules. Let's play. Ooh, hold up. Bit of the open. Yeah, let's go back. Don't be robots, play the game. If somebody's open, give them the ball. Let's play. That's fine, good. Good job, all right, hold there. We're now going to change, we're going to add another bit to it. Um, we'll start in a five out spacing, just offense. So this is where, as I was saying before, you may not be able to get dribble penetration straight away, that's okay. But then we need some other actions to try to create those gaps or try to create that penetration. Perhaps let's try to create a post up. Let's say that Tom Fields got a little fella on him for whatever reason we're going to throw in the post. No, just wait, just wait. We're going to get you there. Let's get a pass to the wing. Instead of your cut, you may just go screen away and screen his guy. Out of any off-ball screen, we do want one to the basket and one away. So if Tom curls, communicate curl, and Billy, you can pop. But when you pop, keep in mind we want double gaps. So new curls is where you may be able to get a post up. Dive and seal. I don't know where your defense is. You don't have one right now. We don't have a defender right now. Wherever. That is where we can get an easy post feed. We won't go through it tonight, but there will be stages during the season we go through different options and reads out of a post feed. But by all means, throw a bigger body in there. They may have an advantage. They may be better suited to being in there right now. That's okay. But that's, that's one way we can get to it. Now, let's for argument's sake say the ball's in this wing. They decide not to pass you the ball because for whatever reason, nobody likes to pass the ball to the post, particularly at juniors. How can we play from here? What do you think, Tom? I can drive so I could, like, go on. Yep, I'm going to simplify I shouldn't ask the questions because I'm trying to teach this. You don't get it, let's clear you out weak side. You may hold that and wait for penetration and lift, or you may just go all the way through like you just have. Don't just stand here in the way expecting the ball. If we're not giving it to you straight away, you're probably not going to get it. So what I want you to go through is, let's go back to the start. I want it to be a pass and screen away. We are having one to the basket, one away. If you get a post feed, fantastic. If not, turn and sprint out opposite. That's then your cue to attack. All right, show us. All right, this time, Tom's not getting it. So wait another second, then clear out. Good, now look to attack in that double gap. Good, continue to play, continue to play, continue to play. And get a bucket, get a bucket. There you go. Let's go, make subs guys. Blues allow have a goal as well. You can alternate sides. You can go either side. Doesn't have to be a true post fire. Maybe they're a guard that's really good at posting up. See how you go. Good, that's fine. Sprint, 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 sprint. Good, keep it moving. Spacing. Get a bucket, get a bucket. All right. Let's go back to the start. Quick. Now, this could be off a reversal pass out of transition. Perhaps Tom started with the ball and he's realized he's got a bit of a mismatch. 
Let's pass to either wing. Up to you. Good decision. Screen away. This is a shooter. You have the mismatch inside. Let's get you staying out now. So you may come all the way up. Tom can now dive and seal. It becomes the exact same thing. Let's go through that option. We get two rounds of penetration and easy score. Yep, let's go. That's fine, good, get it moving, get it moving. That's one, that's two, get an easy score. Easy money, let's go, subs in. One more round, we'll go back to five on three. Screen away, good, dive basket. Play, play, play. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, we'll start again. So if we communicate to each other, what you're doing, what the next guy needs to do, we'll be in a better place. Pass, screen away. Good, Billy, dive. Yes, hold it, hold it. So, Steve, hold it here. So if you're, you're diving, looking to catch it, if you don't get it, by all means, get out of there. And it comes back to our motion stuff again, right? Steve made the pass like he did before, cut. Pat, you gotta go. How are we gonna fix this? Good, sprint. How are we gonna fix this again? Excellent. Play, 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 play. Spacing, get a bucket, get a bucket. Play it, play it. Get a bucket. All right, five on three. Let's get blue on defense. We must have um, defensively ignore the ball for now. I want both wings being defended to start with so that you do have to screen away. And it's up to you whether we curl out of the screen or we slip out of the screen. Communication is going to be, if, you, if the person coming off the screen curls, you're going to communicate curl. Yep. You're going to stay out, communicate pop. Then Billy knows to do opposite. Play the game, play the game. Good. All right, let's go, start again, quick. That's all right. Hold up, hold up. Remember, if you're decisive, you can't be wrong. So if it's open, pass straight away. If he's not, move it on, play the game. Good, now play, now play, now play. Spacing, spacing. Keep moving, space. Good job, what didn't we get that round, guys? Yeah, we didn't get any dribble penetration. We had cut penetration, but no dribble. Let's go again, see if there's some dribble penetration out of it. So the pass and screen away, pass. Screen away, hold up, hold up, hold up. Go back to the start. Remember the defense is defending both wings to start. We're not defending him, you're defending the wing. Yep, let's go. Screen away. Good, good, now play the game, play the game. All right, not bad. Let's go back to the start. Final thing, before we get into some transition stuff. Ball's now gonna start on the wing. Uh, uh, defense, you guys can step out and be subs. Again, we're trying to create double gaps. So we're not wanting to be one person in the next receiver spot. We're trying to get rid of them. We're trying to create scoring opportunities. Easy scores. So let's start your point for now. On the, on the flight of the reversal pass, Billy, you have two options. One option is to either just back cut as hard as you can like we were before and got the dribble handoff. But if he's open, you'll pass it. Or, if we find that's not getting us enough of an advantage, come and set a pin down. Steve then plays off of it. And all of our screening rules become the same. One, two, one away. So if Steve curls it, again, an opportunity for a post up. You can pop out to be a, an easy reversal pass. Start it that way, get two rounds of penetration, then a score. Cool, so on the flight of that pass, you're either out of there on the cut, or the pin down. For now, let's go the pin down each time. On the flight, let's go. On the flight, go. Play, play, play. Spacing, we need a bucket. Two rounds of penetration and score. Good. Subs in and go again. Let's start the ball this side this time. Ball starts here. Ball starts here. So on the flight of that pass, we have a weak side pin down, which again, creates a double gap. So we may just drive into it. But if not, we're trying to create an advantage over there. On the flight, let's go. On the flight, sprint. 
Good, good. Play the game. Play the game. Not bad. One more. You guys, you three sub in. One more. You three sub in. One more round of that. On the flight. Score it. Okay. So again, this stage is getting a little bit messy again, but that's all right. I just wanted to continue to remind you it's not a system. You don't have to do it this way. What we do want to continuously achieve is those double gaps and allowing for all three sorts of penetration, dribble, pass, and cut. So we're just trying to get those things with our spacing. This is the way I've found I like to do it. You guys may have different reads on this side. That's, that's completely fine. For now, just so we get some looks out of it, and just to break it right back, start with the ball and swing. Please, let's get another white here. We're going to go 3v3 just this side of the floor. So another white on offense, blues on defense. We need someone defending Billy, someone defending staying in Amari, and someone defending Amari. It's 3v3 on this side, plus the passer. You pass, your, your job's done. So how is it going to work? On the fly of that pass, Billy, we are now giving you the license to make a read, whether it's a cut or a pin down, but you're not receiving the first catch. On that, Steve, your first look, if you're open, you shoot it. If you're not, look to attack, otherwise allow that to unfold. One, two, one away. Shells. Good. Play the game. Play the game. Play the game. All right. Hold there. Uh, let's go back to the starting point. Yeah, just Tom. One thing I would strongly encourage all of you to consider is the purpose of why you set on balls and if it's really generating much of an advantage. For us, for, for me myself, I'm trying to get away from as many on balls, particularly on the wing, as possible. Particularly if it's like for like. And as you all know, now the teams are selected, we don't have a whole lot of bigs. So when that pass happens, Billy's cut, which is fine, or, yeah, cut, which is fine. Steve's made the pass. Now, fill spacing. So we don't want you to go set the screen. If, if it is like for like, just X cut. All right, so cut underneath the defender, through to the corner. Let's go. And pretend you're screening, but you're not, and then you've still got those double gaps to drive into. But I feel as though you're setting on-ball screens not going to be overly productive for us. Let's go back to the start. Good. Play, play, play. Good job. Change sides. Go again. Change sides. Feel free to uh, let Blue have a go now. Ball starts on this side of the floor. Maybe you can pin down or back cut. That is not prescribed now. You get to make a decision. On the flight, Steve. Let's go. Play, play, play. Good, let's go again. Defense, please make it a little bit harder for them. Force through extra passes. On the flight, sprint. Good, that's fine. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What third of the floor do we not want to fill? Middle, good. So you've made the pass. And guys, again, I'm not picking on Campbell, but this is a coach education thing. Campbell's made the pass in the middle third. We need you to pass, which you've done, and you can screen or cut. Be decisive. If you're decisive, you can't be wrong. You still took a few steps, that's indecisive. You may cut straight to the basket. That's cool, but now Pat and whoever's got the ball, we can all make decisions. Let's go back to the start. He can next cut, yeah, but if you decide, if you can't be wrong. Let's go again. Good, make a decision. Good, good. Play the game. Great, great. Good job. Keep playing, keep playing. Spacing. Four. All right. Not too bad. Boys, grab a real quick drink. 10, 15 seconds. How are we all feeling with that? Sorry? A bigger cutter? Oh, hit A cutter. Yeah. Scott? Just with that, on that last rep there, um, so the ball came uh, on one side of the floor. Patrick decided to make a cut through. We could have put all three players on one side. We would rather, besides you can't be wrong, yep. we would be 
coaching to perhaps discourage that perhaps at that time? Yeah, like, absolutely. But if he has, we've got to live with it. Yeah. And then that's what we're trying to teach that problem solving. So once he has made the cut, well, how do those three guys now fix that? Yeah. We get a wing cut or we get someone wrapping around the top, yeah. um, which again, I know is a lot of decision making. If we keep referring back to the same lot of rules or concepts, I think it makes our life a bit easier. Yeah. All right, we're going to get into some transition stuff now. Uh, no one should really change too much from what we've just done out of transition. If we can own the full court, that maximizes our skill, minimizes our size. Let's get uh, two wings and a point guard. Let's get the point guard starting in the middle here with the ball, we're going that way. Let's get two wings starting uh, sideline halfway. All right, again, our objective is trying to create an advantage trying to work with double gaps. Let's try not to, I know I may have overcomplicated some of this, but let's try not to overcomplicate it. If we get penetration, we get it. All right, as Billy starts, you're both sprinting. Actually, let's get you both starting back yellow line, sideline. Let's get you starting baby foul and just force them to sprint a bit harder, right? You can pass to either side. So as you take that bounce, I want you to take one dribble and it's a kick ahead. Whatever side you pass to, let's say pass to Tom's side. Tom, we want you to be decisive. There's no, hold up. There's no defense in front of you, so you're definitely getting penetration. Steve's going to fill weak side. Billy, let's get you filling this side of the floor so that Tom can kick out either side to score. Tom, once you do kick out, what might you do? Yeah, turn and sprint to an empty spot, right? Off that, let's get a quick shot. So let's go back to the start. Let's go back to the start. Whoever catches the kick out. So if Tom may stop, reverse pivot and throw it back to you, you score. All right, show us. Good. Good, let's get the next three ready. Let's get the next three ready. Yep. Whoop. Pat. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's we'll start yellow line, side line. And you're starting baby foul line. Underneath it, just to really force that sprint in transition. Let's go. Good. Attack. Attack straight away. Attack straight away. Good. Next three ready. Let's go. Feel free. Keep going. Keep going. All right. I was going to say feel free to pass to either side and then we got it. So baby foul, which is the under 10 one. I now want, I will now give you guys a decision to make. When you throw the kick ahead, you can either fill ball side or you can fill weak side. So let's say you've thrown it to Tom, Steve's corner, you can then fill wing on this side, hold up. And then I want you to think about the decision making we had early in our three on zero stuff. If we catch and shoot, if we pass to a cutter, if we an extra pass and cut, don't know. But you better communicate and not have a turnover with it. Show us. Now you can go either side now. Good. All right, next way up. Next way up. At speed. At speed. Good. Next way ready, guys. Straight away. Good. Last one. Go, 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 go. Yeah, nice shot, all right. We're now going 3v3 on this. Let's get three wide on offense, three blue on defense. Now, again, I'll go back to, to the quote we've used tonight. If you're decisive, you can't be wrong. And we're in transition, go play. Let's for argument's sake say, Steve, that both these wings aren't open. Keep going. I'll like, keep playing the game, but it's then 3v3, there's no right or wrong, just remember if you're decisive, you can't be wrong. Patient but then sprint. I understand it's the two wings and two corners we're trying to fill. At speed, let's go. Play, play, play. That's all right, let's get you six, swapping it over and heading back. So you guys step out of the way. 
It's a blue ball. White's on D. Hold up, hold up. Yep, it's a start on 10 foul line. Yellow line, side line. Now, hold up. We're flat out on this. Like, we're not jogging, we're flat out. And if you can't make a pass, you keep attacking him. The reason you can't make a pass, if you can't, is because Steve's taking away that, Tom's taking away that. You've got the whole floor to work with. Go at him. All right, let's play. Good, play it, play it, play it. Good job. Great work. Way to keep that relentlessness non-stop in there. Swap it over, white ball. Feel free to sub in. Feel free to sub in. Let's go again. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, guys. Bring it back, bring it back. Bring it back. Okay, so this is the element of us wanting to be under control, not out of control in transition. But we also want to be flat out. All right, wherever possible, flat out. Billy, I've seen the speed you can play with. If you can't pass, go. All right, Pat made you play some defense in the full court before, which I'm sure you don't want to be doing it this time on a Friday. Make him play some defense back if they're not open. Let's go. Good. Good. Basketball is as simple as that. Now defense, I know it's not a defensive night, but make it a bit more challenging for the ball handler in that instance. Start shrinking spots, make him have to make decisions. Let's go. At pace, at pace, at pace. Good. There we go, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Not bad, let's get one more round in. At pace. Good, good, good. Play it, play it. Oh, hold up. Now this is one of those things where yes, if you're decisive, you can't be wrong. But we really need, I want us to really coach this. So Tom's caught the ball on the wing. Pass has come out from low down here. Man, we're trying to create double gaps. Right now you have almost a triple gap if you attack it, don't come back to where the guy, where your teammate and his defender is. Clear out like you were. That's fine. You're decisive. You're not wrong. But attack this big old gap here, mate. The only person's helping is that layup or three. He shouldn't be able to win. All right. Starting here, let's go four v zero. So let's get both elbows, both wings. Quick, you jump on that elbow. Jump on that elbow. And yellow line sideline. So you two yellow line sideline, two elbows. Now, let's jog through this. Get a head Campbell. Let's say we throw the kick ahead. Throw it. All right. For argument's sake, you do get penetration straight away. You guys fill those receiver spots, wings and corners straight away. Great. We wrap behind, wing or corner. And now we can get the Spurs rule out of that. So what I want us to do is get two rounds of penetration and score after the second round. Can't be a catch and shoot though. We cool with that? Let's see from the top. Let's go. Attack straight away. Because that's one round. Make this a second round. Attack, attack. That's fine, that's fine. Good job. All right, you next four sub in. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Now you're starting on the elbow. At full speed, let's go. Score it, score it. Score it. We only need two rounds of penetration, then we're after a score that's not a jump shot. Let's go. Good, great job. All right, let's get the next four in. Two elbows, two wings. All right, now, we're saying defense has actually got back. 
We'll go through the D trans next week. Hopefully this will come into play. Defense got back, you can't get penetration straight away. So Pat, throw the kick ahead. I've kept in front of you. You can't get penetration. Based off what we did in the half court, Pat has two options. Pat can either X cut like we spoke about briefly all the way through, and again, create the gaps or come back, or space cut the whole way through. Don't fill the middle third, so stay outside the middle third all the way through. And now you've got double gaps on both sides to attack me. So if I haven't gone straight away, get through to a receiver spot, get through a receiver spot and attack. If he attacks off that, remember we don't want three guys on the same side of the floor. Exactly, cut. Let's go, from the top. So I'd, we don't want the first receiver to attack straight away. Allow the cut to happen first. Let's go. Good allow cut, good. And attack, and attack. That's fine. Extra. Score. Need a score here, need a score here. Good. Remember after the second penetration, we're going to score. Next four up. And go, and go, and go, and go. Good cut. Good job, all right. Can you flip blue, please? Blue, you can start. White, you're on defense. I just want you to continue to think, both you guys on the floor and us as coaches, nothing's changed. Oh, we've got, we've, yes, we've gone to transition, but otherwise nothing else has changed. Same rules are in place. Jeez, they're passive. You must be quick. Look at them all backing off. Let's get you guys up and playing a bit. Doesn't have to be flat out hugging, but up and play a little bit. We're just going down, then we'll pause, swap, and come back. All right, show us. Play. Play it, play it, play it, play it, play it. Hold up, hold up. Good. Let's go swap it over. White ball going back. Let's go. Great job, great job. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Really good job, White. There was decisiveness, there was spacing. Outstanding. Blue ball again here. All right. Now let's go back to... We're in the half court, and if we went guard to guard pass, what did we ask the passer to do? Cut. No. no, so if, if you pass across court, yeah, you can screen away or exchange. So let's ball back here. Let's say we're all getting ahead just slowly, just jog down the floor, jog down the floor. If you can't get the penetration yourself and make the kick ahead, and you do reverse the ball, now he's wide, so I reckon that's probably going to be a screen away more than exchange. Set the screen away. Flying off of that in transition. One, two, one away. Now we've got some cut penetration. Hopefully it's a dribble penetration as well. Let's go back to the top. Remember, that's, that's not something you have to do, but if you do go guard to guard past the chain sides, let's get some action. We're non-stop, we're relentless. Let's go. That's all right, that's all right. Good. Go again, Blue, from, from that end. Blue, go again from that end. From that end. All right, now, three teammates. Either be a great target on a short pass or with great spacing to allow gaps for him to drive. Let's not get in the way. Let's play. Good pass, cut, play the game, play the game. Good cut, Pat. There we go. Keep it moving. Great job. Much better, Blue. Much better. Let's go, White Ball. Lovely. Now, if we'll get back to Jared's footwork and finishing, it all becomes a complete package. Let's go one more down and back. One more down and back. Let's show us. When you're ready. Oh, 
Wipe all that end, coming back this way. Wipe all that end, coming back this way. Let's go. Haki, they hit a cutter. Got a layout. Look at that. All right. Guys, very last thing we're going to do. So I, I guarantee there's at least one coach thinking this, if not more. What do we do with the fifth player? So let's get a fifth guy starting centre circle. So same four, two elbows, two wings. None of you are big, so sacrifice it for now and rotate through it. Someone here? Thank you. Two elbows, two wings. All right, now, if the big is ahead of the ball, sorry, if somebody is ahead of the ball in the middle third, by all means go rim run. By all means rim run, try to get that early seal. The teams that may have a big, like I know the 18 boys do have a big, by all means go seal, look to feed them on that. If we don't get it, so Mario, let's get you down here. As per the half court stuff, let's bring it down. If you don't get it, where are you going? Opposite. If you don't get it, go opposite the ball and fill out. Just go all the way out. You've had your chance in here, go all the way out. You may get another chance later off a screening action. We cool with that? Let's go back to the starting point. Yep. Now, let's say Amari was trailing. So let's get you starting on the charge arc at that end. As we're coming down the floor, let's go coming down the floor. For now, you can't get any pass up the floor, right? Coming down. He's trying the play. So let's say you throw it to Amari. What will we, hold up, hold up, hold up. Staying behind the play. Throw it to Amari. Just catch it there. What were we doing before on that pass in the half court? Yeah, you either cut to create the double gap or you set the pin down screen to create the double gap and we play out of that. Does that make sense? Yes? So, you, for now, let's keep it simple. For now, on this way down to Mario, you're rim running. We're saying you're not getting it, so you're clearing out opposite. Yeah. All right, show us that, just on the way down. Opposite, opposite, opposite. Good, good. All right, excellent. Now let's get you starting charge arc. So you're trailing the play. Whoever's playing the point god position. Who's point god? Awesome. No kick heads. Defense is clamped up. They've tagged up, which we're doing next Wednesday. So you're going to reverse the ball through Amari in the half court. Let's go. So go at pace, go at pace, get down the floor. Nothing's on. Reverse it, reverse it, Steve, straight away. Good, now we're straight into it. All right, let's get subs. On the way down, we rim run and clear out opposite. On the way back, we trail and reverse it. Any... Let's get somebody else playing our position as well, because Amari's not a five. None of you are fives. We need a wing runner. No one's playing that spot. We've got two elbows, two wings. We need a wing runner. Come on. One of you two, yellow line, sideline. Let's go. At pace. Rim run. Nothing's on. Clear out opposite. Play the game. Play the game. Play. Play. Be decisive. All right. This time we do have the trail. So let's get you playing the trail post. Can you play the post on the way down? This time Billy's, Billy can't get the kick ahead. Your trail, we're going to reverse. We've got back cut or we've got pin down. Show us. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ball back here with Billy. Come back to the top here. Mario on that wing. So on the flight of this, this is the patient part we speak about. Fly to this, just hold up a tick. I know he wants you to be decisive, patient, hold your space. Amari can go set the pin down, and we play off of that, or he can back cut, but again, we're trying to create double gaps for you. Guys, we're not gonna go through that five on, clearly not five on five, or five on three or anything. You guys have done a good job, thank you. Can we uh, thank these boys? Big night for them. Thank you, Seb. Uh, I know that's a, a hell of a lot of information we've thrown at you, but hence why we video it. Eventually, we will diagram as much of that as we can, so you've got it on video as well as in drawings. And I'll provide some of those rulings. We may add rules to it, and for different age groups, we may add different rules or different ideas. Uh, it'll be an evolving thing. And then you can go and add 
perhaps you really did find an action within the offense, the system we ran last few years that you want to keep using. Great, go for it. Um, maybe the back cut handoff works best for you guys. Great, go for it. As long as we're getting that penetration. You guys can have a seat. You don't have to keep standing. Sorry. Do we have any uh, questions, thoughts, concerns, ideas, anything anyone would like to share? Yeah. Yep. When this fella here goes screen down, yep. or either cuts to the corner, why don't we do that intelligent drive off the back? Absolutely. And that's what we're... Yeah, we're trying to create that double gap. So if the ball's at the top and I'm coming to set this pin down, we've created that gap from the drive. So we don't have to wait for that screen and the action to unfold. Oh, so I've passed there and I've X cut through. Yeah, absolutely. Drive off the back. Again, we're just trying to create those gaps to allow for penetration. Anything else? Yep. So we talked about um, the rim runner hitting the guard zone if nothing on and uh, clear out opposite. Yep. If you wanted to use him on ball side block, would there be a particular rule given we're not going to have three guys on that side? Do we want corner clearing out for the post feed or anything? Or? I'd say so if the corner's filled, yep. probably best to get them through. Get and again, you guys can use that how you see best fit for your teams. Uh, we don't want to say this, this is the absolute way you have to do it. And as the year goes on, we may add, with the 16, uh, so the 14 boys, we may add some different rules on post feeds for the 12 girls, something different, for the 20 boys, something different again. Um, but the basic premise, but the basic premise of it, yeah, side, probably get the corner guy to cut through, create a bit of space to actually allow the pass, we can play off of that. Yeah, okay, cool. Just on that, um, when you're saying you've got three players on one side, you've yep. got the middleman cutting. Uh, when we're coaching it, do you want us to talk about the timing of the cut or just... Yeah. Just Talk about the so timing so of it. Get into the paint, then cut or because we want the weak side, we want the cut all cuts to be scoring cuts. Yeah. So not on the cutting, um, so and not being a scoring opportunity. Yeah, I think Joe has something he wants to add to that. Yeah, I think the, the timing of the cut comes more natural when defense is on the court. It's harder to talk about timing of the cut when it's three on zero, four on zero. So I would say if you're coaching that, put it in a four on three or a three on two or four on four, three on three situation. And then you just kind of fine tune it depending on how it looks to you. If it's too early, tell them they can delay. Tell them kind of what to look for. But much easier when there's actually... Yeah, absolutely. I know it's not was, those challenges in terms of only having eight, but what Joe's saying is spot on. Like That defense is going to help with the timing. And things you can do with that to really emphasize that... Um, and I think they'll naturally start doing a better job with timers if you start rewarding the cuts. So let's say if you score off a cut, you get bonus points or double points. Suddenly they're going to do a much better job having great timing because they get more points for it. Because if we just say it's all twos and all threes, well, I'll just wait behind the three and shoot that if I don't make it. Guys, uh, I appreciate it's a Friday night and it's, it's the off season. Um, if you have anything that comes to your mind on the way home over the weekend, by all means, shoot it through. As I said, this obviously on video for you. I'll try to get as much of this diagram as possible. We'll share, again, those rules. But think about how you've coached basketball, what you like, what you've seen and think might work with your teams. And if you're not 100% sure, check with me. But otherwise, throw it in. Like We want to give you that freedom to, and that creativity within the style of what we're trying to achieve non-stop, no rest, relentless, just keep attacking, keep attacking. Maximise our skill, minimise their size.